Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl Jess the Kiki 87 coming at you. Yes, you with another video. Hopefully, you are already subscribed. If not, please make sure you go on over and click that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Okay, today's video is going to be all about my tattoo, and as you can see from the title, it is going to be a the first 24 hours with a brand new tattoo. That's you know what? I think that's what I'm going to name the title of this video. But anyway, as you guys know, if you don't know, I got my sleeve started technically yesterday. It is like 10.06 now, so, and I was coming home around this time yesterday from the tattoo shop. So, yeah. So, technically now it's 24 hours later. Okay, now I'm going to give you guys a look at the tattoo first, and then we're going to get into, um... Like how I slept, uh, the things I'm using for aftercare, um, and my next appointment. So let's hop right into it. As you can see, I got my soft box light on, giving you girl all type of glow. You know, I'm breaking a hat, but whatever, we won't go there. But basically, I'm gonna show you guys the tattoo first. Let me bring the camera down. Here it is. As you can see, you get closer. I don't know if I should turn off the softbox light. Let's try it without the softbox light. Hold on. Yes, it's definitely giving now. But let me step back. This is about how big it is. You get closer. As you can see, what I love the most is the details. Like it's super realistic i went with a realism tattoo and like she hit it right on the head it looks exactly like my brother like it's freaky but yes you can see like the bridge and this is also him right here looking off into the water which by the way about my second appointment the water actually goes all right here and you know in this big empty space right here that will be my second appointment but yes, get into it. And all this right here is just like from the, um, when she's trying to gauge where she wants to put it, it actually comes off. So that is definitely not a part of the tattoo. I just love the detail. As you can see. I just love the freaking detail. She even got... The details in his hat good but um yes i am definitely satisfied with this tattoo so far can't wait till it's fully finished and then i can start planning my next tattoo which by the way i kind of already did but um yeah so we've touched on my second appointment which will be finishing up the water adding the water into it um a little bit more details elsewhere like i don't know how more detail can she get but she is fabulous but anyway like i said that's what the second appointment is going to do going to be all about which is next month on the hold on actually it is next month on the 15th at the same time i want which is 3 p.m um and it is a eight hour session but she broke it up into two which is four hours yesterday and four hours for my next appointment and then i'll be totally done now, I will give you guys the price as soon as it's fully complete. So, that way I can give you a roundabout, okay? But, um, yes, as far as aftercare, I actually brought it out so you guys can see. Because I know when I'm watching tattoo aftercare videos, I actually want to see the product. So, I can see if is that the exact one I need to get. First up, all the things that you will need will be... Well, you would need and what, or basically what I'm using that you can bounce off of me or whatnot or switch up some things if you need to. First up is Aquaphor. This is the one that I picked up. I got mine at Walmart, as you can see. Actually, let me turn on the soft box light so you guys can see better. Okay, this is the one that I picked up. And it basically just says Aquaphor Healing ointment advanced therapy for dry cracked or irritated skin oops i almost dropped it 
I got the one, didn't, wasn't trying to be all bougie like, but I got the one that you can actually, you know, put up against your skin and rub it on, um, which was, I think was kind of cool, but I actually did not do that. So, yes, but this is the first product I got. I picked up some Dow soap, the antibacterial one. And this obviously <laughs> I only used it for my tattoos. But this is the one that I picked up. It's the orangey slash gold one. Um, I was looking for the other plain one, but I'm guessing this is it anyway. But yes, this is the one that I picked up. Um and also you're gonna need paper towel. You're gonna need a lot of these. Let me tell you. But those are all the things that I picked up and actually all the things that my artist told me to, you know, that's best for tattoo aftercare. But yeah, let's get back into the tap real quick. We bring that down. So sorry for the shake. It look like a big bruise, but it's not. It actually, as you can see, I wouldn't be hitting it if it was. But um, yes, it looks super oily now because I put ointment on it when I got home last night. I was, she covered my arm in the, um, plastic and then told me to take it off when I get home and of course you know when I shower make it quick like a quick like an army shower type of vibe and what I did and what she also told me to do and other YouTubers did was I you know I just get some of that soap and rub it on there with my hands super gently because it was hurting after but now I'm, I'm completely good now right now it just has this tight sensation like if I bend my arm I can just feel the tightness in it I try not to bend it too much because I ain't trying to crack anything. You get, you get the gist. But yes, that's what I did in the first 24 hours. And as far as sleep, how I slept, I'm not even going to lie. It was super, super uncomfortable because I'm used to, I'm a side sleeper. Like I won't lie. And I literally sleep with a fan like blown directly in my face. And it was so hard not to sleep because I sleep on both my sides. It was so hard not to turn over and sleep on this side, which is where the tattoo is. It was so hard. So uncomfortable. So I actually got up this morning and, was, and went in my den and sat on the couch and kicked my feet up and dozed off in there. But yeah, sleeping was a little rough. I don't know why. But um, yes, like I said, it took a total of four hours. Um, My appointment was at three, but I came in early at two to get the ointment which i think i'm going to do the well let me say it again numbing cream not ointment i came in at two o'clock to get the numbing cream which it has to sit in the on the area which it has let sit on my arm for like an hour before she even started which by the way i have my thoughts on that and i will be doing a whole separate video on like a review on that numbing cream like a sis is Y'all know when I make that face, it definitely ain't given. But anyways, I think I did pretty good as far as sitting through that session. It was something serious. I'm definitely looking forward to getting, you know, to my second session to complete it. And then hopefully so far, so far. But um, the name of the tattoo shop that I went to is located here in the Jacksonville, Florida area. Jacksonville Beach, actually. And it is called Queens Tattoo company um her instagram is queens tattoo co so you guys should definitely go and check her out and make sure you say kiki smokes or just kiki of the seven cents you <laughs> okay i'm getting my names confused but either way make sure you go and check out her work she's pretty awesome it's a all female studio now doesn't mean she's trying to scare off men because there actually there were men that worked there but either way right now i know it's all females there i just love the vibe the vibe was Awesome. I think I'm going to do a whole separate video on that. But anyway, I will catch you guys in my next video. Please make sure that you are already subscribed. And also, hit the notification bell. Follow me on all of my Instagrams. As well as, um, when I hear about need to hit me up on my business email. But either way, check your girl out. And I will catch you in my next video. Hopefully, you enjoyed this one. Peace.